that lighting work? It's so incredibly dark because it's another rainy day. <laughs> I have been living for the rainy days here recently. The other day, I was in a bookstore randomly, okay? Because I decided we're romanticizing our lives. So maybe you saw the short where I went to a coffee shop and I read for a little bit and then we went out to lunch and then I ended up in a bookstore. I walked from one end of the summit to the other end of the summit simply because I didn't want to put him in his car seat because he was asleep in his wrap. So I walked half a mile there and then half a mile back just because I was looking for something specific in the bookstore that the bookstore then didn't have. But I saw bullet journals and I looked at them and I was like, wow, those were the days when I had time to bullet journal. What? Like, yes, I don't have as much time now because I have a kid, but in reality, I have the exact same amount of time. Like we all have 24 hours in the day, but I was also working my freaking ass off during that time. Like the hours I was putting into my work was insane. So now that's like switched that like those hours I'm kind of putting into him and I don't put as many hours into my work. I don't have time to bullet journal. Like I can't even with myself. So then I looked at the price of this and I was like, wow, I definitely do not need to buy this one. And then I was like, if I don't buy this now, I'm never going to buy it. So I think I spent $28 or something on this bullet journal, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous. I ended up going to Target and I got these fine line pens because I tried to use the pens that I have from when I bullet journaled and they're all dried up and awful. And then I also, this is a little bit of a mess right now, got this water brush pen kit. I, for some reason, was like, I want a watercolor. And the reason why is because Amber filled her up. If you guys watched my other video, she inspires me. Anyway, I created my goals page, which I've decided this year I'm actually not going to share my goals with you guys. Taking something out of my man's book. What's the saying there? My brain is all over the place this morning. He doesn't really share his, like, goals and things with other people because he believes, like, other people's intentions can alter and like shift it's like very much like a manifestation mindset of like you let other people into your intentions and like they can warp it themselves type thing so I have got some of these things I've already shared with you guys but other ones I just like kind of want to keep to myself this year and we'll see what happens I'll share them at the end of the year with you guys but I did create a cute little goals page here I'm not sure how well I can do this um I put my easy word here and then I like drew some fall stuff I am usually a perfectionist when it comes to art, which is absolutely freaking ridiculous because it's gosh darn art. But yesterday I challenged myself to freehand with pen all of those leaves. And some of them turned out like absolute shit, but I had the most fun doing it. I was just like so enjoying myself using these watercolor brushes. I was having so much fun. I am still learning with those because even like the colors, there's this one color right here, which I don't know how well that's actually gonna pull up on camera. This one I ended up using on all of the leaves because it turned out so different than like what it actually looked and it looks like really good on fall leaves. Anyway, I'm sharing all of this and I need to take my dogs out, hold please. I thought the next video in this series was going to be sharing my goals with you guys and like buffing out my goals, but like I said, I'm not gonna share them, but I also like buff them out on my own. So what I wanna do today is more so create an action plan and set up a little bit of a work schedule for myself to achieve those goals. So if you guys have been following me for a while, I created the Blow It Up Blueprint, which, is that it? Papi, you already did both this morning, so I think we're good. Okay, we're going back inside. <laughs> The reason why I brought up the blow it up blueprint is because that's the system I like to use in achieving my goals. So it essentially helps you create a plan to achieve your goals. So I want to take the goals that I already have wrist, wristed, what? Listed out and really come up with an action plan and what's going to work for me. And specifically, I used to be super organized with theming my days. So it's like I would film every Wednesday and then that gave me plenty of time to edit and I would upload every Tuesday and I was very, very structured with what I was doing every single day and then I was able to do all the things that I needed to do within my business and I have not been on a good routine and flow 
with that in a while. And obviously like having a kid makes things a little bit harder, but in reality I can set a specific filming day for myself instead of being like, oh shoot, I've got a video that needs to go live in three days, I gotta film today. Cause that's what happened. So I'm also doing a short miss right now. So instead of doing vlogmas where I upload vlogs every single day, I am uploading a short every single day. It's 25 days of romanticizing my life. So if you guys have not been watching my shorts, watch my shorts because I will be there every single day. But this morning you are so tired. Are you tired? Oh my gosh, you little angel face, baby. He usually wakes up 5, 5.30 for a bottle, but you go back to sleep. And this morning you decided you didn't want to go back to sleep. You were ready to party. Yeah, so you have been up for an hour and a half already. And usually then his next bottle's at 8. And I was going to go to Target after that because I plan out our trips based on his feeding times. Cause you can nap anywhere, huh? is not too loud. We'll see. How are you? You good? Okay, that's good. Um, you didn't need this, kids. I ended up getting, is anyone else like loyal to a pencil brand ever since being in school, like Ticonderoga? It's the only pencils I can buy. And then for some reason out of pencils, I don't even understand because I don't even use pencils, but I can't find any. You wanna smell? Poison control. And then I wanted a ruler, obviously, so we got a ruler, you wanna smell? Good, I'll leave that there for you. And then I, for some reason, saw a protractor and I was like, that's genius. Am I really gonna use this a whole lot? I don't know. But I was like, oh, that could be fun for some designs and stuff. Maybe. Anyway, if you are doing this process with me, I do not need to be wearing this wrap anymore. Obviously set your goals. So come up with like what you want to achieve in the next, I would say three to five years. The farther out you try to think, like setting like 10 year goals, it's like so much can freaking happen in 10 years. I'll be turning 40 in 10 years. Like that's crazy. But if I think about three to five years, it seems closer, more achievable in a sense. And like I have a pretty good idea of what I'm gonna want in three to five years. So set some big goals for yourself and then set smaller goals that's gonna help you to get to those bigger goals type thing. So I know one of the things I shared with you guys is that I want to focus on short form content and I want to grow my Instagram specifically. I'm pretty sure I shared that. If not, I wanna grow my Instagram. Make sure you guys are following me on Instagram. Having that goal in mind, it's like, okay, well, what do I need to do to grow my Instagram? It's not just like, cool, I'm gonna hit this number of followers. like. I don't know, I'm a big believer in manifestation and I have really been in the manifestation side of Instagram recently and the things that have been popping up, I'm like, this is wild and I love to see it. But to me, manifesting is not just like, okay, I'm gonna be a millionaire one day and then you just sit on your couch and you do absolutely freaking nothing. It's like, you need to align yourself with that and really the more you learn about manifestation, it's like, you need to act like you already have the thing whatever the thing is. So like for so long, I wanted to live on a lake. Like ever since I was a kid, I wanted to live on a lake. And 
I just knew I have a lake house. I'm going to live on a lake one day, but I have a lake house. And then this house came into fruition, which is crazy to see the image that was on my vision board that then I got this hat anyway. You do need to put action behind your intent. So it's not enough to be like, I'm gonna grow on Instagram. It's like, okay, well, what the hell are you gonna do to grow on Instagram? And I know I said I'm gonna focus on short form content, but what does that really look like? Like how many reels do I wanna create? Is there going to be a specific affiliate marketing strategy that's gonna go along with my Instagram? Because I've been really getting better at affiliate links in my stories. But besides that, it's like, okay, then, what are my weeks going to look like? When am I gonna film that short form content? When am I gonna edit that short form content? Am I gonna batch it? Am I gonna do it daily? Like what the heck does that look like? So I want to, like I said, come up with a little bit of a plan. And if you are following along with me doing the same thing, especially if you're working like a full-time job and you have YouTube or you have some other side hustle that you're doing, it's going to be very easy that you're gonna be tired at the end of the day and you're like, <sighs> I don't wanna do it. And then you won't work on your side hustle. But if you have an action step, an action step, what? If you have an action plan, <laughs> that's what I was thinking of, that every Monday you record a reel and then you get home from work and you're like, shoot, I didn't record a reel today. You're going to more so do it because you're like, this is just what I do. It's almost like turning it into a habit. It's like discipline is better than motivation. I am really going on a freaking tangent here, but I was debating what I was going to do next in my bullet journal because I'm not gonna like fully lay this out the way that I've done in the past. I'm just gonna kind of go like day by day, like whatever the heck I want to do. So next, I want this to be like action plan and then mark out the steps and things that I'm going to do. And then the next page, I think I'm going to have it break down like my weekly theme. So like Monday, this is what I'm gonna do. Tuesday, this is what I'm gonna do. I think that's what the game plan is, I think. I really don't have any inspiration of what this is gonna look like, but let's go for it. Here's the thing, okay? I've been doing this whole free hand and I'm just kind of figuring it out and these things are so ugly. You know, the car's not that bad, right? That's not that bad. It could be worse. The front of it got a little messed up. But I created, the, like I didn't even have a plan for this row. I just like drew it and then it turned. Ignore it, okay? But I created my game plan, aka the steps I need to take this year to achieve the goals that I want to achieve. So I wrote down, I have like eight things personally, I have seven things professionally that I want to do. Then I came up with my themes for each of the days. So Monday is gonna be my admin slash dump day, like whatever needs to get done that day. But like QuickBooks, for example, is something that I have been so terrible at keeping up with. And I used to never have this problem because once a week I would go in and do my QuickBooks. So that's gonna be Monday for me. I also have film a reel slash reels that day because I might film two or more, I have no idea. Post a reel and short. And then the next day is a blog dedicated day. So that's like a blog and Pinterest and LTK day, which is really, I should like write all of those out because I reviewed my blog and then I did absolutely nothing to it, as we know, and like something needs to happen to it. It needs to not just sit there forever. So that is Tuesday. Tuesday is also gonna be posting my YouTube video day. Wednesday is a strictly YouTube day. So I'm gonna film a YouTube video. I wanna go over analytics. I wanna brainstorm that day. Like that day is solely a YouTube day. Thursday is short form content day. Friday is editing. So honestly, like editing a YouTube video takes me uh, like a whole day. So if I dedicate all of Friday to that, Saturday and Sunday is planned. So that's plan next week's content, plan affiliate posts, because like even taking some content for LTK, that 
I can just like batch and schedule and just be done with it. And then I also have post real and short that day. And then over here, this is the, truly the ugliest. The pinks, it's too bright. It's, uh, it's just not my thing. This is first quarter and I have it broken into like three main tasks. So the first one is an in-person event. The second one is increasing my income. And then the last one is this house because I mentioned this in another video. My goal for this year is to finish this house totally. And then I have it broken down like those three things that I wanna focus on. What are the tasks that I need to do specifically that quarter to achieve them. So it gives me a little bit more of a direction instead of just being like, and here's my goals for the year. You know, I actually feel like I have a little bit more of a plan, a purpose, and especially with breaking it down in the first quarter, I feel really, really good about that. I'm just debating now because this is like my journal for 2024. I'm like, do I actually start now in December? Like, I feel like I need to because if I don't start, like I already have the momentum right now. And if I wait until January, I feel like I'm not gonna have the momentum. So it's kind of like, I might just start this now. I don't know. We'll see. Let me know what your goals are in the comment section down below and make sure you follow me on Instagram. And that's all I have. <laughs> we'll see you guys back here in another video. Bye guys. <laughs>